The hardware interface page is where you choose what channels of which access interface card will be used to command output signals to your amplifier and receive feedback and hardware flag information from your encoder and hardware switches, respectively. For UMAC racks, you will almost always be selecting either the structures of Accessory 24E2 or Accessory 24E2A, which are both Gate 1 structures, or Accessory 24E3, which is a Gate 3 structure. Delta Tau recommends indexing through the channels of the access interface cards in a manner that corresponds with motor number. There are four channels per access interface card gate. For example, motor 1 should be on the lowest channel of channel index of your lowest indexed gate, that is the gate with card index 0. Motor 2 should be on the next channel, which would be channel index 1 of that same access interface gate. Motor 3 should be on channel index 2, which is actually the situation we have right here. You see Chan bracket 2, indicating that I'm on channel 2 of accessory 24E3 0, the lowest numbered accessory 24E3 gate. And then if we added motor 4, it would be on channel bracket 3. But that's not what we want. We want to leave it at 2, and so forth. Once you've occupied all four channels, you need to add another access interface gate card, which would be on accessory 24E3 bracket 1, for example. Here you see an example of mapping motor 3 to all channel bracket 0 registers of the 0th indexed accessory 24E3 in my UMEC rack. Generally speaking, the system setup software will automatically choose the correct channels for the aforementioned configuration scheme, but if you want to modify that to obtain a custom configuration, just select a different register from the drop-down list for each respective field you want to modify. You can see the fields in the left-hand column here. Once you're happy with this configuration, click Accept and then the next button.